It's Yash. Look, I just wanted to tell everybody Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good, a good non-stressed Christmas, you know? For me, Christmas, I, I cannot help but just remember the level of consciousness that Jesus had when he was here 2,000 years ago. For me, this is, this is what I'm really celebrating. Now, when I was a kid, you know what I was celebrating. I wanted those gifts, money. I remember I, I, I used to get a bunch of cards, gift cards, you know, like cards for my family. <laughs> my mom would yell at me because I'd just rip the envelope open, open the card, and if there was money, I'd take it and throw the card down, you know? That's what that's what I that's why I like Christmas and I got a I got a brand new motorcycle once KX125 I was a motorcycle freak I really like that so <clears throat> this was Christmas for me but that's changed over the years now it's like and I, and I started I started listening to uh, on YouTube they have some uh, recordings of like the different verses and psalms in the Bible man. The level of consciousness Jesus had, strong, strong. I mean, imagine <laughs> you, you're, you're getting nailed to the cross, you're feeling it, okay? He's not a non-dual oak, like, he feels it. And then to still be in touch enough with spirit, with his true self, to ask God to forgive the people that are torturing him. Not just he's still in touch with himself, not being aware of awareness, not just that. He was even able to see and feel the karma that these guys are gonna be experiencing. That's why he asked for compassion. He's like, oh man, I'm gonna, you know, I, yeah, I have a hard deal. I'm gonna suffer here for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, but then I'm free. But you guys, you're not only torturing you're not just torturing somebody. You're torturing a human being that has high level consciousness. You're torturing God in form. That's heavy karma. Him, Hitler, people like that, heavy karma. So, and, but there's a bunch of things, a bunch of verses in the Bible. Now you gotta, you gotta interpret it correctly because this is where a lot of confusion comes. and stuff so your intuition has to be <clears throat> on point and hopefully you can find like a better book that can break down what he's really saying uh, because you know he's not he's not he's not one to try to <clears throat> induce guilt and shame that obviously came from somebody's mind who uh, uh, misinterpreted what he's saying so you have to you have to feel the essence of what he's saying <clears throat> and uh, Man, there's some powerful, powerful things. Now, you can get a transmission, a spiritual transmission from that. I mean, I like I like all religions. The essence of them, I like all of them. I like the, I like the Sufis and the Hindus and the uh, Muslims and the Christians. I like them all. I said before, I went to every church in the phone book when I was like 21 and I was, I was living in LA because I, I needed answers. I just needed answers. I wasn't, I wasn't getting the answers I needed from college and healers and doctors. And No, I needed like something inside realized you, you are not going to be satisfied on this planet unless you uh, recognize your, your, you can say, spiritual nature. I just knew that because I had a, that's the blessing when you have uh, <clears throat> some heavy karma in your life, rather that be health relationships or your financial situation those are the main the main things of karma the family see when you when stuff out here is not working something inside is going to go searching yeah you know? and so then you hear these you hear these these beings these masters that their 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 teachings have been preserved god made it like that so now we can listen to them and if we're open that consciousness is trying to get imparted, it's trying to get like transfused into our consciousness, same consciousness. So, see, it's the same consciousness, but on the individual level, consciousness is uh, in the dream pretending to be at like different grades because the law of evolution, that's just part of the deal. So, 
but the through line, the main, you can say, purpose of why this whole creation is created is for the individualized consciousness to again get absorbed into its pure self. And then it can enjoy the individual expression without all this heaviness, all this ego and, you know, psychological turmoil that a lot of uh, human beings experience. So when we, when we listen to things that are true, that are, are authentic, they have a, a vibration. We were talking, I was talking to somebody about words. Somebody, they said like, you know, words are just words. I said, no, I mean, yeah, some words, most words, <laughs> depends who's saying them. Words can be the, the container that holds a certain, you can say, transmission or darshan via vibration. And when they get spoken, if they're getting spoken to somebody who's open, who can receive that, that consciousness is being transmitted into them. And then it, it merges with that individualized consciousness and makes it more uh, awake because you're getting, you're getting a transmission from a more evolved consciousness into into your consciousness that that needs a little kickstarting you see this is the game of life and this is the importance of you can say teachers or gurus or teachings etc don't listen to people say you don't need a guru nobody's going to say that if you really know who you are how are you not going to respect uh the whole relationship between guru and disciple it's just, you know, you can, you can find little things out when people say certain things, it's ego talking. And then their day's coming where they're gonna suffer, that's gonna break down. I'm not like wishing that on them, I just know how it works. When we, when we have this arrogant ignorance hiding inside us, life's gonna have to crush that at some point, you see? Now, that's, an, this is an, that's another title though, how, you know, I'm not saying like everybody needs to sit at the feet of a physical master that that's a requirement to awaken. So you can also, you can also find this, this, if it's the destiny in the play of life, you can find this inner guru inside, or you can, you can have a guru, he's still in physical form, but maybe you just haven't, you, you can't meet him for various reasons. But you'll never dismiss the opportunity or ability if you or someone else was afforded the, this chance to actually have uh, in your presence a physical guru. There's just no way, when, you know. But at the same time, it's not like an absolute necessity. It depends how God wants to, 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 to do this and, and our karma and et cetera, so many things. So I hope you got something from this video. And like I said, man, have a good Christmas. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right.